I remember it coming from like nothing. It looked like, how are we gonna make it into a school? It was just very exciting. Everybody was so excited because it'll be the first Catholic school in this area. We all had the same goal, and our goal was we wanted to make Faithful Shepherd a place where kids would come and they would feel safe and they would feel loved and they would learn about God and then we would encourage them to work as hard as they could to become the best that they can be in. It was a great place. It was exciting to be part of this new venture. The legacy of Faithful Shepherd is the impact that it has on the lives of its students. That legacy, you want it to be, you want the, the people who were touched by the school to feel loved and have felt like they were an important part, whether it's the students or the families, um, and be able to take that out into the world and, and know this was a good place and they were cared about. We want our students to be guided the rest of their lives by the foundations of the Catholic faith that they learned here at Faithful Shepherd, and that's what they'll take with them. So that's what I hope the legacy would be. Alrighty, my name is John Mahold and I graduated here in the class of 2013. My name is Gabby Granger. I had Miss Malmquist in 2006. My name is Danielle Frere. I had Mrs. Malmquist in kindergarten and Mrs. Swain in first grade and I graduated in 2018. Yeah, we invited Ms. Tabosia to my graduation party because she was a teacher who really cared about my success and me graduating from high school, I thought she should share in that celebration. To us, it just seems sort of perfectly natural to invite Mrs. Tabosia to John's graduation party. Over the years, we had sort of just run into her from time to time and just our, our paths had crossed a little bit. And she had such a powerful uh, connection with not just only with John, but with us as parents, and it just seemed to, you know, last longer than our years here. So it seemed just fitting that she would come and celebrate John's graduation from high school. And she came with bells on. She had this beautiful <laughs> card for him and a piece of his artwork that she had saved. She saves all her kids' artwork, and so it was super touching as a as a mom to have her there and to share in his success. She was a big part of that. I was not able to tie my shoes. Uh, I was the last one in my class to learn how to do it. And she always just said, like, keep going, it's okay. Like, as it's all about getting there. It's never about, like, it, who can do it first. It's just about learning how to do it. She just always encouraged me. And so learning that patience from Ms. MomQuest was great. Um, I got to learn that. So now when I'm in college and I'm a little bit behind my classmates or I can't find a skill, I always think about what Ms. MomQuest said during those times when I was really frustrated. Mrs. Malmquist really had a unique ability to understand and get to know each child. She really appreciated the strengths of every kid. And I remember sitting at conferences and, and leaving, getting up and leaving and thinking, wow, she really knows my child and each and every student. And I think that's something that is, is so incredible. And I remember being at Faithful Shepherd once I got to middle school and, and thinking back fondly of like, I'm so glad that Gabby had Mrs. Malmquist. She's just a really, really special teacher. A lot of pivotal moments here. <laughs> I, was, I was very shy in class, like did not raise my hand that much, was very, very quiet. And then Star of the Week came up. And then Star of the Week came up and they, she, would, she would have them put all their pictures on the wall and then she had a half circle table she'd push up against the wall and then they'd stand on it like a stage and they'd tell about their pictures. And Danny got up there and just told the story and acted it out. And Mrs. Swain came to me and said, you gotta get this kid in theater. <laughs> and that was so incredibly formative. Um, just really pivotal moment because Ever since then, I've been doing theater, and it's led to uh, me being on the speech team. I went to sections for speech this year, um, and just such a big part of my life and my personality came from that one moment, from that one teacher just stepping up and taking notice and then taking action. My name is Eden, and my teacher is Ms. Kadula Hopper. 
Mrs. Kiddiddle Hopper. Does Mrs. Kiddiddle Hopper have a different name? Um, Mrs. Momquist. Mrs. Momquist. <laughs> Can I like her as a teacher? Uh, she's a really good teacher. What? And she's really kind. She's really, really fun and, and nice. nice. Mr. Bud. Awesome and yeah. kind and funny. Yeah. She's awesome. She's cool. She's funny. Um, whenever like I ask people about Miss Devoja, they loved her just as much as I did and they still like wish they had her as older grades. My name is Drew, I'm in 8th grade and I have had Miss Malmquist in kindergarten and Miss Swain in 1st grade. She was very kind to me, um, she was always open to answering any of my questions um, and just her support for me was amazing. Some like, big quality of Miss Devoja was how welcoming she was and how she always wanted to help someone. She has that effect on people. She, that, that your time with her as a student and as the parent of her student is just the beginning. She has that effect, a long range, long term effect. And what a powerful thing for students to have when they're just starting out their academic lives. You know, she, she launches them on an amazing journey and per, in a perfect way, but it's a sustained connection. It's powerful. I had her in 2006, but even when I was here and I graduated in 2015, I would go back and I would sometimes help out in her classroom and the kids just were always having smiles on their faces, they were always learning. It was still that same positive, creative environment that I had in 2006. So Miss Momquist, throughout the years, is still consistently being an amazing teacher and that's why I think she deserves the Legacy Award. They truly deeply care about their students and for each and every one of them it's true that their impact goes beyond just that extra care they put into their students i think speaks volumes about who they are they get to know the children they get to know each kid and they get to know the parents and they care about each and every one of them and their special qualities and their they just love kids, and they love the families, and they're just really loving people, all three of them. So you yeah. build this, like, family, and it would be hard to leave because you care so much about them. To me, it's like coming home. When I walk in the doors in the fall, it's like being home. I just feel this sense of happiness in the, in the school, and that's kind of kept me here. Well, we love them. Honestly, all three of them are, are just really fantastic teachers, and I feel that Faithful Shepherd is blessed to have them. They just really are, and we're grateful for what they've given. Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I just, I, I love you so much, and I, when I think Faithful Shepherd, I think those teachers just embody all that the school is meant to be, and I just, You've, you've made me into the person that I am, and I cannot, there are not enough words to express my gratitude for that. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Wongquist. Thank, Thank you, Mrs. Swain. Thank you, Mr. Boja.